Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload three videos a week: beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. And so, if any of that, if any of that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button fair warning i trip over my words often <laughs> now with all of that being said let's go ahead and get into today's video okay guys so today i have for you guys a haul which is also going to be a mini giveaway there's not much in the giveaway but i do hope that you enjoy it so i went online to on profusion.com like all of this is from everywhere guys some of it's from Ulta, some of it's from Target, Profusion. I got a little bit of everything from a little bit of everywhere. So, but I did go to Prof. Oh, and some of it's even from Boxy Pop Up because it is drugstore pricing on Boxy Pop Up for some of their stuff. And for what I bought personally, it was drugstore pricing. Okay. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the Profusion stuff because there's quite a bit. Okay, so what I got was a bunch of these mini eyeshadow quads. So, they have a mini mauves. I don't know if you guys can see it. So, they have a mini mauve. So, this is what the mauve one looks like. And then they have mini emerald, mini ruby, mini rubies. Okay, and I promise I'm not touching the actual eyeshadows, just opening it to show you guys. Mini violets, mini sapphires. And this came in a pack of five for $8.99, or they were $2.99 each. And I love, 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 love Profusion's eyeshadow formula. Their eyeshadows are actually really creamy, really blendable. Really blendable. Oh my goodness really blendable and they were just really good quality eyeshadow so i was excited to try these out and i was like dang you get what's four times five you get 20 eyeshadows for eight bucks like that's not bad <laughs> and you can mix and match and whatnot like that and then i did pick up three of their mini daz mini eyes dazzles so it comes with i got two golds and one silver and it comes with a mini, um, comes with a mini mascara and then a mini glitter. So that's the gold one and then the silver one. And so that's what else I got. And then I also got this Profusion Cosmetics face palette. And it comes with a little brush and this palette. So it has two highlighters, two natural blush shades, and an easy blend bronzer and a Pro Series face brush. And I really like their eyeshadow, so I figured like all of their powders must be pretty good because they have their powder formula like on lock. So this was also something else that I wanted to try out. Let's see if we can get this out of here. I know I've opened it. You guys, Profusion's brushes are so soft. And so this is just what the palette looks like so the blushes do look a little bit shim not shimmery but like they're gonna have like a glow to it is how their blushes look and so that's just what the palette looks like it's super pretty let's see this Ooh, that is really soft you guys wow wow don't go in there too hard you guys because it's it's almost literally like creamy but it's a powder wow okay, i'm excited to play with this and this bronzer shade is super light in person it didn't look that light online okay and last but not least i did pick up a few profusion pr profusion i did pick up a few profusion brushes so I got their doer I got their duo fiber foundation brush. Obviously, I'm not gonna use this for foundation. I don't know who would use this teeny tiny brush for foundation because that's a lot of face for a tiny brush. So I do plan on using this for like cream contour or something like that. So stay tuned to find out what I use that for. And then the next thing I got was their angled eyebrow brush. I've really been wanting an eyebrow brush, and I was like, well. Since I'm already on here, why not? 
I didn't want to buy a whole set because I don't really need all those brushes. And then this is their small tapered powder brush. And I wanted to use this one for highlight. I only have one highlighting. Well, now I have two. But I only had one I only had one highlighting brush. And I realized like I was always having to tap it off, always having to clean it off. So I bought me a couple more highlighting brushes. And the other one I got was just from Amazon. And I'll leave everything linked down below. And so then the next thing I got was a large blender eyeshadow brush because you can never have too many blending brushes. Just never, you can never have too many blending brushes. And these feel really nice. The actual like this part stick handle, handle is the word, handle feels really nice. <laughs> so yeah, and that was it from per. That was it from Profusion. Now let's just go on to a couple of things that I got from Target because it's not a whole lot that I picked up from Target. Literally just a few things. So one thing that I've been wanting to try, you guys, and I'm kind of working my way up to doing a full face of e.l.f. I honestly just need like bronzer, blush, and highlight. And then we are good to rock and roll. So these are Elf's new bite size eyeshadows. I almost dug my nail into that, y'all. Woo! So this is the one in Carnival Candy. I don't know, but I have a thing for these blues and eyeshadow palettes right now. And I really wanted the big LA girl, LA girl one. But I was like, you know what? Let me just go with this little Elf one. It's only $3, not $15 if I don't like the blue. So yeah, let's go ahead and swatch these. Ooh, those all swatch really, really good. So all of those swatched really, really good, you guys. So now I'm like, whoa, exciting. I'm so excited. Have y'all seen Kevin Hart's stand-up comedy or stand-up Netflix special where he says that? Okay, so yeah, I did go ahead and pick up this. The next thing that I got, from Target was this LA Girl Lip Scrub. Now I have hair on that. So I have used this one time and I wasn't impressed with it. I don't feel like it's scrubby enough, if that makes sense. So like it has a little bit of like, see it feels really good on your hand, but on your lips, like I feel like you don't feel the actual like exfoliating, whatever it is that they have in there. And so like, it's almost, I don't know, maybe I gotta keep using it more. Maybe the little exfoliators are more deep in there and not on the top layer. But from first impression, like I really didn't feel it and it didn't feel that great. The next thing I picked up was the e.l.f. Halo Go Halo Glow Setting Powder. And if you guys know, you this has been all over everything. Everybody's talking about it right now. One thing I like about this is that it has the sifter that you can open and close. But my thing is, will the sifter, like the little open and close thing, get in the way? So let's go ahead and swatch this. I got mine in the shade light because it, I don't know what it is with some powders. I believe the Revlon Candid powder is actually the same way where it's like light is light and then medium is like not medium. It's more like tan and then deep is deep, but it's like there's nothing for those who are like light medium, if that makes sense. And I don't really like that because I'm light medium, but wow, this powder feels really nice. That feels really nice. It's really, really soft. So I can't wait to play with that. But like I said, I wish that there was something for light medium because it's like light tan deep. Like, you know what I mean? And the next thing I did pick up was the Sonia Kashuk Makeup Blender. I've been wanting to try this out since it came out, but I just never got around to it. Cause I've bought in sponges since it came out, but I don't know. I don't know, I just never really got around to it. So I wanna see what it feels like. Some of the stuff I've been waiting to open with you guys and look at. Some of the stuff I just couldn't wait to get my little greasy paws on. Okay, so let's see. Oh, wow. I don't know. This feels... Mm. Let me not knock it, though. Because, but I don't know, you guys, because I felt the same way about my Luxie Beauty sponge because it was kind of really dense, but I ended up really liking that. And then from what I remember, these things get huge. So who's to say, like, it doesn't get super big and super soft? I'm trying to put everything I've talked about to one side because it's... Still got a few things to go through. And the next thing I picked up from Target was 
the Born to Glow Foundation, and Juicy Jazz is always raving about this. For some reason, I feel like when I see this in videos, like the packaging looks way bigger. Like I feel like this is gonna be a lot bigger, but I mean, it is one fluid ounce, but I guess, I don't know, on camera, it looks a lot bigger than you would expect, or people have tiny hands. I don't know. I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger, but it's not like the actual packaging. You get your one fluid ounce, which is pretty standard for foundations. Okay, the next thing I picked up was just a backup of my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer because y'all, I am flying through that thing. And I got light peach this time, which after using my medium peach today, I was like, I should not have got light peach. But I did, cause I mean, I don't know. Cause it was the only one they had. They didn't have medium peach. And I knew I was gonna need to restock on it soon. So yeah, but I mean, it's not a big shade difference. Like it's not huge, but I think this one's just a little bit more pinky, pinky and a little like a smidge lighter than medium peach. So did pick up a backup one of those. And then I always see Alexis Jada using this concealer. And I'm like, man, like I wanna try that. And so that is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. And I got picked up the one in the shade Light Natural. I was really confused on which one of these to get because I felt with like the same thing, at least what Target had in stock. It was like light, kind of light medium, and then just like tan, like skin tone like it would have been my skin tone so i was kind of confused on like what shade to get so i just went with light natural i wasn't expecting the wand to look like this i guess i never really paid attention to the wand and then the cool thing is like the actual stick part is like see-through maybe the shade won't be way too light maybe let's hope i feel like it's a lot lighter than light peach so i mean we're gonna see we gonna see. And then the next thing I got was just two nail polishes. And I didn't even know LA Girl made nail polish. But these are their ColourPop nail po Yeah. Color, LA Girl ColourPop nail polishes. And I got this one in the shade Southern Belle and then Sparkler. And I was like, oh, those are so pretty. And they're like, this will be pretty on top of Southern Belle. I was like, ooh, let's get it. Let's paint some nails. Okay, and then the last thing I got from Target was Wet n Wild Rose Photo Focus Rose primer water so i just wanted this i needed to back it up what <laughs> i needed it to replace it and have a backup for when i run out of my cucumber one and i've and i'm realizing that my skin loves rose like it just it does my skin loves anything okay, so there's obviously some very big differences the lighting's probably different obviously this is different the angle's probably different. What had happened was my phone died. So I didn't record any of the rest of this video after it died on me in the middle of saying Rose. <laughs> so the last thing I left off with was my Wet n Wild 3-in-1 primer water. And I was saying that my, like I've learned, that I've come to learn that my skin just loves anything Rose. Rose water, like, rose moisturizers, anything with rose, like my skin just drinks it up, loves it, it keep, helps keep my skin clear. And so we were still, so I thought we were done talking about, you can probably hear my fan now. So I thought we were done talking about what I got from Target, but we actually were not. And one of the things that I got from Target was this e.l.f. eye glitter pigment, and I got this shade Flirty Birdie. I wanted to try these out because my friend Raquel Borrego here on YouTube did a full video where she swatched all of these, like every single color of these on her eyes. And I was like, dang girl, like you are really dedicated because I don't like, I don't have the patience, the time, the energy, the quietness to go through and continuously wipe off my eye and try another one. I feel like my eyes would just be really irritated. So kudos to you. Raquel for doing that because anyways you guys should check her out and I'll link that specific video up in the eyes and up in the eye and down below in the description box but yeah she really um and I'm glad she did that video because it really helped me see like what colors I wanted because some of the colors are a little bit like off online like even though I picked this up in store but online, I was really wanting the gold one. And then I watched her video and I was like, ooh, like that's a little bit too gold. So the one that I really, really liked was Flirty Birdie. And it's really just like this pretty 
rose gold glitter it has like obviously the silver specks of glitter but like the actual underlying pigment in it is like a rose metallic gold so i thought that that was really really pretty and so i did go ahead and pick that up the next thing i picked up <laughs> and i used to have this a while back on my channel if you guys remember it's whenever i was living in the tiny duplex like y'all the struggle's been real but anyways it's it's back whenever I was in my last house where I would, where I, where, where, oh my gosh, where I originally started doing my clean with me's. And so I did go ahead and pick up this NYX Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lip Gloss. So basically what this is, is a super pigmented lip gloss. It literally is like a high shine lipstick because look at that pigment. And this is in the cut in the shade Cedar Later. The reason I had to repurchase this is because on my old one, my um on my old one, like this whole sorry. Guys, I'm so uncomfortable because of my hernia today. So on my old one I did like the whole white part like fell off like it just came off like and so look so product was seeping out of this little thing right here and i was just like it's gonna be best if i just throw this away like it is what it is like whatever okay so that does it wrap up everything that i got from target officially so now let's go ahead and talk about the things that i got on at boxy pop-up so one of the things that i got was this boss's beauty palette from hip dot and remember, this was from Boxy Pop Up. So this palette ran me about ten to twelve dollars. I can't remember. And so this is just like I like how it says in there, like Boss's Beauty. I was really drawn to this palette because it had like these two pops of colors. This really pretty gold, and then like these darker smoky shimmers. But like it also like just had lots of mattes, lots of shimmers. I felt like you could create like a lot of looks with this. So yeah, I did go ahead and pick that up from Boxy Pop Up. You guys should really check it out, especially if you are subscribed to Boxy Charm. <laughs> Excuse me, like I think it would be, it's worth the investment because you can get a lot of makeup at a discounted price. And so the next thing I got you guys, and I was so live when I seen these on here because I see people use them all the time. And I didn't, I wasn't a part of BoxyCharm at the time that these were in the BoxyCharm. And so that is the Alamarcos, <laughs> the Alamar Cosmetics Ojitos Eye Set and Eye Brush Set. And it just looks like this. You guys, I got this pack for three doll hairs three dollars so that's a dollar a brush and i believe that this set is anywhere from 10 to 15 dollars and so i was like dude like that's such a steal so yeah i did go ahead and pick these up needless to say with all the brushes i've bought like i i need to stop buying brushes for a little bit but i mean like i said you can never have too many blending brushes eyeshadow brushes in general you can never have too many eyeshadow brushes if you feel like cleaning them and that's something that you can do because girl okay and then the next thing i did get was this smashbox liquid metallic matte lipstick and it's just in the shade rust fund and that's just what it looks like i'm not gonna swatch it and that's just what it looks like i thought it was really really pretty i don't know i, I would i don't wear metallic lipsticks but it, like i said i only paid five bucks for this and so I thought like that was a good deal for a Smashbox always on metallic, you know, liquid matte lipstick, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so now it's time to get into all the stuff that I got from Ulta because Ulta. Okay, so the first thing that I did pick up was the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. And so I thought online, I really thought that this was going to be like, Online, I was like, okay, that's my shade. Like, I need that. Give it to me because I picked up the shade Natural. When I got it in the mail, I was like, ooh, that's kind of dark. Is it going to match? Oh, no. And so I swatched it earlier and found out and discovered that this might be like a new holy grail. I remember when I first got into YouTube and makeup like this was a really big foundation at the time. It was really, really popular. And so I would put it on my hand and I was like, wow, like that, like don't let the color in the bottle deceive you because this actually is like my perfect shade. And like I was saying, like you can even see it covered up a lot of the veins in my hand. So I was like, ooh, I can't wait to try this out because like it feels really soft and like, like it's gonna melt into your skin really easy and like i even have a dry patches on my hand and like it's not clinging to any of that i've always had problems with dry 
dry hands since I was a kid. My mom used to have to buy me my own lotion. And now that I'm a mom, like, I'm just like, meh, meh. Okay, so the next thing that I did pick up, because I do always see... I always see Jam Beauty 89 using this primer and she says like it's one of her favorites and I was like I gotta try it because Essence is affordable. I would love like just Essence is affordable. It's cool. I like a lot of their products. The gloss I'm currently wearing is the Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss and I just have the clear one and then I love their blush. I had a highlighter, the Pure Nude Highlighters. That's just a little bit too light for me now but back whenever like I don't know, I guess I didn't take care of myself, so I had no pigmentation. I was like pale and it matched me. Like it was a really pretty highlighter, really subtle, really pretty. So anyways, what I picked up was Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. And it says that this is healthy glow, pore minimizing effect with vitamin complex and cranberry water. And so I'm really excited to try this because it sounds like it's gonna do exactly what I want it to do, like hydrate and pore minimizing at the same time, give it to me. Give it all to me. Okay, another thing that I picked up, okay, I asked you guys on social media a while back, which is also why I bought all the Profusion, um, and only two people responded, so be sure you follow me on social media because I do ask you guys questions, just interact with me, because I wanna know what you guys wanna see on my channel instead of me just guessing. Like, you know what I mean? So be sure like to follow me on social media. I have Beauty With A Purpose by Allie McKithen on Facebook. I have Beauty and Bible every everywhere else snapchat twitter instagram so yeah so um i asked like what were some drugstore products that you guys you know wanted me to try out on my channel or just talk about on my channel and i received three things one of the things i already have which is which is the cover girl skin milk foundation and then i got profusion eyeshadows so that's why i bought all the eyeshadow palettes and then this was the last thing that was suggested and that was the maybelline fit me loose setting powder now i got mine in the shade light and i was like now if you know the maybelline fit me concealers you know that shade 15 is actually lighter than shade 10 in the concealer so shade 15 in the powder is actually darker than shade 10 so this is just what the shade looks like i like this is gonna be a powder i mean it looks lighter on the skin it don't look as bad as it looks in here. So I don't know, maybe we'll try, but in here it, it really scares me. So I maybe only be able to use this on my face and not underneath my eyes, which I'm okay with. Like, I don't mind, but like I said, it's a lot lighter on my hand than what it looks in there. So we'll see, we'll give it a shot, see how it works again, because I really don't remember. I remember I liked it and then for some reason I stopped liking it. So we'll see how I feel about it now because our skin is constantly changing. So another thing that I picked up was another LA Girl Perfect Precision Precision Lip Liner. And I got this one in the shade Sugar and Spice. And this color is just, oh. Like, this is the color of lip liner that I've been looking for forever. Like, this is going to be cute with this gloss on. Just put this on underneath, throw this gloss on on top. Girl, cute. I'm so weird, you guys. Okay, and then the next thing I picked up, um, because I, I'm working towards a full face of e.l.f. products and a full face of LA Girls. So I think from e.l.f., all I really need is, like, bronzer blush highlight, honestly. And then from LA Girl, I need, like, powder bronzer blush and highlight no i can use this as a bronzer so i need like blush highlight setting powder spray and whatnot okay so anyways i did go ahead and pick up these two concealers i got light ivory and then i also got chestnut because i want to start cream contouring because i really want to try that scott barnes method that he does like around the lips to make your lips look bigger because why not so yeah i do want to go ahead and try that out but that's why i picked up those two i've tried the concealer before and i remember like really 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 liking it Ow, my elbow pop. So then the next thing I picked up was just a backup of my LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. I'm the shade Blackest Brown and I am really, and I'm running out of this. So I have like literally like that much left of that. And then the next thing I picked up was the LA Girl Brow Pomade and I got the shade Dark Brown. I'm super, I'm super excited to try this out just because my Wet n Wild one that I was falling in love with dried out already. And I'm not sure why, because I make sure because they're pomades and they're cream, liquid like cream products i make sure to like really twist the cap on there so i'm not sure why that's dried out already if you guys have any tips or tricks that i could do with that to make it i don't know not dry anymore because i really did love that 
let me know so the next thing i got was this essence make me brow brow setting gel and i got it this and i remember really liking this one too but i had it in the shade blonde so this time i got the shade brownie brows just to match my brows a little bit better and then the last thing i picked up are these kiss number one lashes i've already wore these twice because you know me and lashes, like I just couldn't help myself. Like I managed to stay away from everything else except for the lashes. So <laughs> I've already wore these twice and you guys, I highly recommend these if you want something that's gonna look super natural-ish, like it's gonna look like all you did was get eyelash extensions, I really recommend this because the band is so thin that if you place it, in, like if you place it correctly on your eye, people won't even be able to tell that it's a strip lash. So, yeah, I really like those. It makes your eyes look super pretty and your eyelashes look super long. And it's just, I don't have to trim those is my favorite part. I love lashes that I don't have to trim. Okay, you guys, so the last thing I picked up was my Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I had been, I had run out of this and I just hadn't repurchased it because my sister gave me a cleansing oil. And I was like, oh, this cleansing oil is working like good. Like, but for my birthday, you know, Brian always lets me spend a little bit of coins. I was like, let me repurchase this so i repurchased it and I, since i've been doing my makeup a lot more this little one don't last me as long well i can't even say that i guess i'm just scared to run out so i did go ahead and buy me a backup one and i was like yo because such a little bit of this goes a long way and i was like why did i stop using this like it doesn't leave your skin feeling oily after you rinse this off and that's what i don't like about the actual oil because you know like you have to use soap to get like oil off of anything so with this cleansing balm it doesn't feel like that it doesn't leave that oil film on your face like it literally you you take your face you well, you don't take your face but you take your finger you dip it in there rub it a little bit together in your hands rub it all over your face it takes off everything you rinse it with water and it almost feels like like just your skin now of course you do have to go in with your face wash and i do but i'm just saying like after using this and my face wash when i go in with my toner on my cotton pad like no makeup no makeup is left behind it wasn't, I would have to wash my face, I would have to use the oil and wash my face twice afterwards if I wanted there to be no makeup on my, on my cotton pad. And that, I was lucky if two washes got it all off. So yeah, I don't know like why I stopped buying this. So I did go ahead and get a backup and these little ones are $9.50. And like I said, this can last you about a month. So I mean, $9.50 a month, it's not bad. Okay, so now for the portion I know that everybody has been waiting for, and you're probably like, hurry up, get to it, what you're giving me. So what I am actually going to give away are these eyeshadow palettes. So I will be giving you giving away to one person the mini sapphire, the mini violets, and the mini mauves. And I will also be giving away the mini eyes dazzle set. This is the set you get a mascara and an eye glitter. And then I will be giving away the Smashbox Matte, always on matte metallic, metallic matte lipstick in the shade Rust Fun. Like I said, it's not a huge giveaway, you guys, but I know that whoever gets it enjoys it. And I always pray over these things and make sure that whoever's receiving it is very thankful and somebody honestly who's in need um, and who just and who's just not able to go out and buy makeup because I was that person. I was that person who. All I started out with was a little bitty tray, smaller than this, of makeup, and I always wanted to buy makeup, and like I just, it wasn't in a place where I could, and it hurt because of my love for makeup, but I continued to trust in God, and I would, you know, just put, continue to put God first, continue to put God first, and now I'm here, and I'm able to bless other people with makeup, which is so awesome, and so like I said, there is only going to be, there's only going to be one giveaway winner, the giveaway is in the is for the u.s only so it's only national it's not international and the rules are subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and comment down below what your number one goal is for 2020 so i can pray over that for you and then leave me your instagram handle so that way i can check and make sure you're subscribed you're following me and i can contact you if you're the winner so the giveaway does end april 1st at 10 a.m cst so at 10 a.m central standard time i will be messaging the giveaway winner so you have up until then so you have up until april 1st 
10 a.m. Central Time to enter the giveaway, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. And then I will be contacting the winner and shipping these out. So, or if you're locally in Lubbock, I will be finding a way to get a hold of you. So, yes, but you guys don't get discouraged. I plan on doing more giveaways. I do giveaways quite often. I just felt like it had been a while. I do want to give do a giveaway of my lashes. So, yeah, so go ahead and hit that. So, go ahead and just go ahead and enter the giveaway. Like I said, comment down below your number one 2020 goal. So that way I can pray over that for you and a way for me to get in contact with you. Subscribe, follow on Instagram. And so with that being said, I love you guys. But always remember that Jesus loves you more. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also so you can enter the giveaway. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.